What's up everybody, it's Dr. McVeary here with another Teaching 101 video and we're going to continue our talk on the importance of learning objectives. In our last video, we talked about how you need to connect your learning objectives to your assessments. And now, in this video, I want to cover how learning objectives need to drive your learning activities and a four-step process that you can do to get this done. First, just do the verb. I mean, the learning activity that you assign, it must have students do what the objective says that they're going to be able to do at the end of the lesson. So you do the verb. Second, repeat the nouns. You know, what do we know from um, researching the vocabulary and um, um, for Universal Design for Learning, or UDL? Multiple representations across multiple modalities. You know that the key, what are the key words and phrases that are involved, the knowledge that your students need to know to show mastery on the objectives. Keep repeating those nouns. Give it to them, give it to them in memes. Give it to them in videos. Um, model it and explicitly use it. Define the words the first time that they're introduced. Um, use graphic organizers to help them build like schemas and, and mental models of, of how those concepts connect and, and those kinds of visualization techniques. Utilize authentic text and tasks in your learning activities. Let them see how the words are used by people in your field. Um, if it's in mathematics, think about you know, real-life applications of, of those models and problem sets. Um, having authentic texts and tasks really helps drive home um, the nouns. Um, and then third, you, know, you need to connect the learning objectives and learning activities to the course and career goals. Exp first explicitly state you know the learning objectives that are being taught by that activity but also you know link to the course goal what's the larger why and then frame those course goals and then the even larger why like how does this represent like what is done in the field or like is this how a historian would read primary documents you know make those larger career connections um and then finally you need to scaffold what the assessment will measure. And that's how you connect the learning objectives to your learning activities. You, you, need to, you need to use the nouns and do the verbs. Model that for the students. Then have the students use the nouns and do the verbs. And give them chances to practice. And provide them feedback on how they're using the nouns and the verbs. And that's pretty much how you connect learning activities and your learning objectives together. Thanks everybody.